Uh, we're joined now by Fox News senior judicial analyst Judge Andrew Napolitano. Boy, the congressman gave us a lot to chew on there. He did. <clears throat> uh, can, can we start with this component of, and I want to go down to my notes because I was taking notes on him. You know, this pathway seems fairly clear legally. If you as a state are not doing what the federal law is, what happens? All right, so there's two California statutes that uh, Attorney General Sessions has targeted with this lawsuit. One is a law that says if you work for any government in California, state, county, or local, and you are asked in your work capacity to assist the federal government to round up undocumented persons, you may not cooperate. As long as that refusal to cooperate is a refusal to cooperate rather than an affirmative interference, the statute is probably constitutional. What's the difference? Well, an affirmative interference would violate a statute that prohibits harboring uh, aliens. So Isn't if, that what they're doing if they're calling this a sanctuary city or state? No. Harboring aliens means actually hiding them. So this mayor, if she did more than, than say, hey, they're coming, come to me and I'll keep you safe in the basement of the mayor's house, oh. that would be a federal crime. The but other if it causes it to happen, I'm sorry, I got you here, so I'm going right. to ask no, you every ahead. question I have in my brain. But if, if something that someone does causes you to then hide people, isn't the effect the same? I mean, doesn't the law look at it similarly? The law is extremely similarly? reluctant to prosecute words, but it will okay. prosecute the person who harbors the uh, right. alien. That is an express statute that the federal government does prosecute. All right, your second. The second statute is really troublesome. This statute forbids private business owners. Let's say you own a, a clothing store, a bookshop, or, or a restaurant. Mm -hmm. ICE shows up and says, uh, Ms. Faulkner, we're looking for some of these people. I want to show you pictures. Have you seen them? The statute prohibits you from answering ICE's questions. Why? In your own business, on your own property. That is blatantly unconstitutional because it's punishing speech. That statute, in ah. my view, will be undone by Attorney General Sessions' uh, lawsuit in a week. That's how profoundly unconstitutional it is. You cannot tell private people what they can say and what they can do with respect to aliens. You can tell your own employees, as the governor uh, has done. So I ask you why that would even be in the books, and why would California go there? And the answer is? that the Democratic Party that runs California is so beholden to the immigrant rights groups, it is willing to trample on private property and personal speech in order to advance their own political causes. Can we talk just now clearly? Because, I, I mean, I get this from the congressman, and we understand this. We are not talking about people who have not committed further crimes other than being here illegally. We're talking about those people who have so been identified that they endanger the rest of us. Here's an example of who we're, we're talking about without using any a proper name. Somebody comes here on a visa, overstays it. They're here for two or three years beyond the visa. They commit a crime. They're arrested. They're put in jail. They're about to be bailed out. ICE says, this person that you just arrested for armed robbery, just giving you an example, this is a, this is a hypothetical, mm -hmm. he's here illegally. If you tell us when he's made his bail, we'll save you from prosecuting him because we'll deport him the next day. California, we're not going to tell you. That's the classic example. Okay. He has been bailed out of a state court system. He hasn't yet been convicted, but he is free to roam the countryside here illegally oh, heard the and, prone to com that. and prone to commit another crime. And, but some of these people have committed more egregious crimes. Yes, of course. And, and so the problem is that it becomes yet another a slippery slope because what you give a scenario for may or may not endanger us, but we have some on a list that will. Absolutely. Real quickly, before I let you go, and I'm going to ask my team just to hang tight for a second because I know they're pushing us to move on. You said California has done something that we haven't seen. What is it? Shaking down ICE. Showing up. State officials, this is according to a, a General Se Attorney General Sessions' speech this morning, showing up at ICE facilities demanding to see ICE records mm. and demanding to know when these ICE raids are going to, hurt, are going to happen. I haven't heard of that happening in American history since before the Civil War. Uh, Judge Andrew Napolitano, thank you for it's stopping by the mezzanine pleasure today. Pleasure to work with you. It always is, Harris. God bless. Uh, just days after a series of bizarre interviews, were the, he hit back at the...